after 9-11, a series of new skyscrapers, including the One World Trade Center, rose from the ashes. But did you know that there is another 400-meter-high building in the making right next to it? And that the skyline of New York will change drastically in the near future? In today's video, we're taking a closer look at seven incredible skyscrapers that will reshape the world's most famous skyline. Before we continue, make sure to like this video and subscribe to Top Luxury. What do you think about these impressive projects? Let us know in the comments below. Number 7. The Spiral The future skyline of New York will likely also follow supply and demand, and currently, we are seeing a strong influx of New York's appeal amongst the richest people of the world. At this moment, the largest real estate project in the history of the United States is being developed on the bank of the Hudson River. These are the Hudson Yards. The entire project consists of several super-tall skyscrapers, a large hotel, over 100 shops, restaurants, and a school. But the real eye-catcher of them all is the Spiral. A building designed by world-famous Danish architect Bjarke Ingels, who made his first contribution to the New York skyline via 57 West, the Spiral embraces Ignel's style of blending urbanism and nature seamlessly together. The signature element is a landscape series of terraces that ascend the glass structure in a spiral. It forms a continuous green pathway around the building, providing terrace space to tenants on each floor. Number 6. 270 Park Avenue On 270 Park Avenue, another much-anticipated building is being constructed, taking a wholly different approach the new J.P. Morgan Chase World Headquarters. Their super-tall structure will soar 434 meters into the sky and will become one of Manhattan's tallest skyscrapers. It has a wide, open foundation that becomes narrower as it reaches up. It features large diagonal beams that span a great number of floors, which make up the building's architectural profile. The plans are still in early construction, J.P. Morgan Chase was already occupying a building on the site and temporarily moved elsewhere. The current building now is being demolished and their upgraded skyscraper will be finished in 2024. Number 5. The One Vanderbilt Back to Midtown, where One Vanderbilt was recently completed next to the Grand Central Terminal. The project began during the administration of Mayor Bloomberg, but even he, the most powerful politician in New York, couldn't get permits for his ambitious plan. He had problems with attaining the air rights for an office building of such enormity. The skyscraper would reach a full height of 427 meters and would almost entirely be occupied by commercial tenants. Several community groups raised concerns about the prospective influx of workers and the municipal office turned down the mayor's request. What followed was some creative New York City politics. Bloomberg used his power in office to redraft the city's zones. This put the building in the same zone as Grand Central, who, coincidentally, still had a lot of unused air rights. Bloomberg bought these rights and promised to make improvements to the station. One Vanderbilt was officially opened in September 2020. The building's design is meant to harmonize with Grand Central across the street. It's the fourth tallest skyscraper in New York, and it provides easier pedestrian and transit access, and the building is lauded for its environmentally friendly design. Number 4. 9 DeKalb Avenue Most projects that are being developed are in Manhattan, but high-rises are being built in all of the five boroughs. At 9 DeKalb Avenue in Brooklyn, the tallest skyscraper outside Manhattan is currently under construction. The building is situated next to the iconic brownstones of Park Slope. The top floors are overlooking Prospect Park and offer a panoramic view of the Manhattan skyline. It will be the first super-tall skyscraper in Brooklyn, counting over 70 floors and reaching 325 meters into the sky. The building provides large commercial spaces as well as residential areas. 
and it's expected to finish construction in 2022. Number 3. The Central Park Tower Another mega project currently under construction is Billionaire's Row, a project that consists of eight super tall structures that will forever change the view from Central Park. Six of these have already been constructed, and two are near completion. The tallest and most iconic of them all is the Central Park Tower. It will be the tallest residential building in the world and the second tallest building in the United States. It offers top luxury condominiums and with prices starting at $6.5 million for a two-bedroom apartment. The building offers a variety of exclusive entertainment areas, including a large basketball court and the highest private club in the world. All the way up on the 123rd floor, at a staggering height of 472 meters, is the highest penthouse in the world. A four-bedroom apartment consisting of floor-to-ceiling windows, overlooking the park, and with a private outdoor pool, it is listed for $95 million. The buildings are located at 57th Street, between Broadway and 5th Avenue, close to the Plaza Hotel, the Russian Tea Room, and Carnegie Hall. This area caters to the super rich. The future tenants of the building are assured to have a clear view out for the foreseeable future. The Extel Development Company, the creative masterminds behind the project, managed to get the permissions for this building by obtaining the neighboring air rights. Every building in New York City has the right to build into the air, but if these rights are unused, they can be sold to a developer who can stack them on top of each other. This explains some of the odd purchases that Extel made, such as a 20-foot parcel on the 58th Street, which is roughly the size of a parking lot, and for which they paid $14 million. They never used or needed the space, but the development rights made it worth their while. Central Park Tower will become one of New York's most prized residential buildings and an unmissable shape on the famous skyline. The slender supertalls of Billionaire's Row have shifted the way we think about high-rise architecture. It has already inspired a new chapter in design around the world. Number 2. 45 Broad Street Beyond the top luxury of Billionaire's Row and the modern architecture in Chelsea, at 45 Broad Street, a new high-rise is breaking ground at a different level. The building is designed by New York power duo John Cetra and Nancy Ruddy. Upon completion, it will become Lower Manhattan's tallest residential building. The architectural duo was inspired by an iconic period of New York class, Art Deco. The 1920s and 30s were productive years for New York developers. The booming economy of the Roaring Twenties helped New Yorkers develop a taste for luxury, glamour, and exuberance. This all came together in the fashionable Art Deco movement. This period brought us the Chrysler Building, the Bryant Park Hotel, the El Dorado, the Empire State Building, and many more buildings that make New York's skyline famous. Cetra Ruddy is bringing Art Deco back in vogue. Their design features thin bronze lines that stretch up the glass facade to a distinctive crown. Excavation had already started in 2017, but the project team is currently waiting for the green light to start actual construction. Number 1. The World Trade Center Looking into the future, we finish today's video with a colossal project in one of New York's most sought-after and anticipated construction zones, Ground Zero. A series of towers is scheduled to rise from the ashes of the 9-11 attacks. The whole project comprises six buildings, of which the tallest is 541 meters, or 1,776 feet, the year that the United States signed the Declaration of Independence. Four new skyscrapers have already been rebuilt, and two more are in the making. The buildings are large glass structures with a modern design and offer exclusive commercial space. The current designs of the two remaining towers put them at 403 and 226 meters high. 
but they're struggling to find tenants and are caught amidst a fierce political fight. The construction has been put on hold until these disputes have been settled. But there is hope, since the foundation work of two World Trade Center is already finished. Once the problems are fixed, the construction of the 403 meters high tower will begin. What do you think about the future skyline of New York? Which skyscraper did you like the most? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Top Luxury. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.